Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? It's already time for the ninth Damp Squib Gloat of 2012. Yeah, the ninth, because I'm posting these at the end of each month, usually on the first of the next month, but today's one is going to be a little bit early. So the 12th and final Damp Squib Gloat is going to be on the 1st of January 2013. And you can rest assured that I'm going to sit here laughing my buttocks off at all these doomsday prophets who had been going on for ages and ages telling anybody who'd want to listen that 2012 is going to be the year of the great cataclysm and the end of the Mayan calendar and all that sort of nonsense. And I'm going to sit here and laugh at you. Laugh at you from the bottom of my heart because I have been counter prophesying that no such cataclysm was going to happen. But this month, you know, my damp squib gloats have usually been very short. This month is a special month because the 25th of September 2012, as some of you might know, was supposed to be a major date in the Doomsday Calendar. It was going to be another one of those magical alignments of the Earth, the Sun and um, the non-existing comet Elenin. Yeah, it's a non-existing comet. It's not that there is no Elenin, it's more like it's an X-comet. It ceased to be. It's um, pushing up the daisies, so to speak, the celestial daisies in the sky. It's uh, pining for the fjords, that sort of thing. It ceased to be a comet. It's now a trail of space debris kind of aimlessly floating around in the universe. That's what Elenin is today. So the thought that this debris field that's out there could actually cause earthquakes on this planet is, um, yeah, even laughable doesn't start to cover it. And, yeah, as we can see on the 25th of September this year, no cataclysm did befall us. There was no major earthquake. There was no axis shift or anything of that nature. And, of course, when I pointed this out to a number of these doomsday uh, idiots, they started making a big hullabaloo out of a couple of earthquakes that did occur in the past week. For example, there was one earthquake of magnitude 6.2 um, in uh, what they called California, and another one uh, of magnitude 6.4, which some of them kept insisting was a 6.9, but it was a 6.4, uh, in um, Alaska. Now, of course, the one in California was actually off the coast in the Bay of California, off the coast of Mexico, in the sea. And the one in Alaska was, in actual fact, also in the sea. To be precise, in the Bering Sea, in the middle of nowhere, over a thousand kilometers away from Anchorage and a good distance away from the Alaskan, you know, a similar distance away from the Alaskan mainland, unless you want to count that weird peninsula that sticks out at the bottom as the Alaskan mainland. But uh, yeah, pretty far removed from any significant areas of human habitation. Let's put it that way. Or, more accurately, in the asshole of nowhere. So yeah, two moderate earthquakes. In actual fact, there were three moderate earthquakes because for some reason they didn't see fit to mention that there was yet another one in the Pacific Ocean of the Solomon Islands of a magnitude 6. Apparently that's not big enough to be mentioned or to be made a big hullabaloo out of. I don't know. I don't care. Because in the end, what it boils down to is that they predicted major earthquakes. They predicted an axis shift. They predicted cataclysmic earthquakes. And of course, no such thing happened at all. A major earthquake, even with the most generous predisposition, would have to be at least a magnitude 7. 
and a magnitude 6.4 is a huge amount smaller than a magnitude 7. It's a logarithmic scale, in case you didn't know. So yes, I feel quite entitled this month to give you an extended damp squib gloat, because this month, this month was a howler. There's three more months to go until the 1st of January 2013. And if you think that I'm being smug today, just you wait until then.